This is an Arizona's Family News Update. Good morning to you. I'm Yetta Gibson here. The latest stories that we're following for you from the Arizona's Family Newsroom. Arizona is closing in on 80,000 total cases of COVID-19 here in our state. Today's data from the Department of Health Services includes that missing data that we told you about from yesterday. Sonora Quest Lab missed the Monday reporting deadline. So today's total of 4,682 newly reported cases does include those numbers that were missing yesterday. Another 44 people uh, dying from this virus were reported as well in the last 24 hours, most of which were from days or maybe even weeks ago and are just being added into totals now. So while fewer COVID patients are needing ventilators, there are more ICU beds that are being used right now. Overall, there is now 14% of ICU beds left in our state. Great Wolf Lodge says it will not be closing despite the governor's executive order to close bars, nightclubs, gyms, movie theaters, and water parks. This resort slash indoor water park is located on the Salt River Pima Maricopa Indian community and the tribal government has its own declaration for this. Resort and tribal leaders say they will review the governor's order today. Meantime, Vice President Mike Pence is pushing back his Arizona trip by just a day. He was supposed to be here today. Instead, he's going to come tomorrow. The VP is expected to meet with Governor Ducey to discuss the state's coronavirus efforts. He was supposed to also speak at a campaign event in Tucson, but that as well has been canceled. And today is a day of remembrance here in Arizona. It has been seven years since 19 members of the Granite Mountain Hotshots were killed while battling the Yarnell Hill Fire. A 15 minute film memorial service begins at 430 this afternoon on Yarnell's Fire's website. Uh, we're not going to see a uh, terribly high fire danger today, which is good news. Yesterday we had windy conditions and a red flag warning. We'll see temperatures, uh, I think, below normal. Well, they will definitely be below normal, but I think below 100, 99 for your high today. And we are going to crank up the heat 103 for Wednesday, 102 on Thursday with a slight chance for a storm. And it looks like it's going to be hot heading into your weekend, which is the 4th of July. All right, Ian, thank you for updates on more stories that we're following for you. You can download our app. You can subscribe to our YouTube as well as our Roku channels. I'm Yetta Gibson. Have a great day, everybody.